and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to play Starving by Haley Steinfeld on the guitar. So stay tuned if this is something that you want to learn. You know just what to say. Things that scare me. I so to play this song in the same key as the original, you do want to have your capo on the fourth fret. But like I always say, if you don't have a capo, then you can go ahead and follow this tutorial without one. It'll just be a little bit lower, so you'll have to sing a little lower if you're doing a cover. Or you can also click right here and I show you how to make a makeshift capo out of pencils and some rubber bands. So um, either one you can do. Other than that, your guitar needs to be in standard tuning. And there's only four chords for the entire song, so let's go ahead and jump into what those chords look like. So let's go ahead and take a look at those chords you need to know for the song. There's only four of them and the first one is C, which looks like this and sounds like this. The next chord you need to know is F, which is a bar chord and it looks like this and it sounds like this. If you can't play bar chords and this is really hard for you, you can play the alternate version of F, which looks like this and sounds like this. Okay, the next chord you need to know is A minor, which looks like this and sounds like this. chord you need to know is G, which looks like this and sounds like this. And those are all the chords you need to know for this song. So once you have those chord shapes memorized, go ahead and practice transitioning between them because this song does follow the same order the entire time, which is C to F to A minor to G. And then once you have those transitions down, we'll go ahead and jump into some strumming patterns that you can use with this song. Bring on disaster, you hit me head on, got me weak in my knees, yeah. Alright, so let's go ahead and jump into the strumming patterns you can use with this song. The first pattern is always what I suggest you do, especially if you're a beginner, which is just go through the song and play every chord once on a downstroke on the downbeat with the song. That way you know where all the transitions are and you can learn where to expect them. So following along with our chord progressions, we have C, F, A minor, G. I didn't know that I was starving till I tasted you. Don't eat no butterflies when you give me the whole damn zoo. By the way, right away, you do things to my bones. Okay, so moving right along, we've got our second strumming pattern, which looks like this. And the way this is going to sound is down, up, mute, down, mute, down, up, mute, down, mute. So let me explain that a little bit slower. We've got our down followed by a quick upstroke. And right after you do the upstroke, you're going to want to take the side of your playing hand and just mute those strings by resting your hand across the sound hole. So we've got down, up, mute. And then you're going to follow that with another downstroke and another mute. So in rhythm, we've got down, up, mute, down, mute, down, up, mute, down, mute. Okay, so for the first down and up stroke, you're going to want to strum your C chord. So we've got C, up, mute. Okay, again, that's down, up, mute for the C. And then for the last down and mute, we're going to want to switch to our next chord, which is F. So we've got F. So again, that's C, up, mute, F, mute. And then the last two chords in the progression are going to follow suit. We've got our A minor for the down, up, mute, followed by our G chord for the last down, mute. Alright, so again, we've got A minor. And you can see there 
there. Sometimes I stop the strings with my fist, sometimes it's with my side of my hand. It really doesn't matter as long as the strings get stopped. So now we can play through the whole pattern. We've got C, F, A minor, G, C, F, A minor, G. Down, a mute, down, mute, down, a mute, down, mute. I didn't know that I was starving till I tasted you. Don't need no butterflies when you give me the whole damn zoo. By the way, right away, you do things to my body. I didn't know that I was starving till I tasted you. All right, and our last strumming pattern kind of builds off our previous one, so here it is. Again, that muting is in there because it is important to keep the rhythm of the song, but the rest of the strumming pattern here is just more of like filler to make the guitar a little bit more interesting. So let me go ahead and play it for you. We've got down, up, mute, down, up, down, 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 up. Down, up, mute, down, up, down, 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 up. So a little bit slower, that's down, up, mute, down, up, down, 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 up. So with chords, it'll sound like this. So you can see we're still switching the chords in the same spot. So with our C chord, we still have the first down and up and the mute. And then again, we switch to the F chord just like earlier, except this time, instead of just doing one downstroke, we're gonna fill in the rest of the pattern. Okay, so with C we've got down, up, mute, down, up, down, 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 up. And then again, the same with our A minor and our G chord. A minor, up, mute, and then switch to G. Down, up, down, 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 up. A minor, G. All right, so if you string all those together, we've got the entire pattern. We've got C. wondering how to play that picking pattern that you hear throughout the song. It's actually very simple, so um, if you're up to it, let's go ahead and jump into how to do that picking pattern. You do things to my body. I didn't know that I was starving till I All right, so now let's go ahead and tackle that picking pattern you hear at the beginning. Go ahead and put your C chord on because that's the first chord in the song. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna have you place your thumb on the fifth string here, which is the lowest string in our C chord. And then with these three fingers, I want you to place those on the top three strings, okay? And if you pick all of those at the same time, it should sound like this. But what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna pick our thumb first and follow it up with our other three fingers. So we've got again. And that's how you do the picking pattern. So we've got C is five in the top three strings. And then when it's ringing, you wanna slap your hand down and mute it just like our strumming pattern. Okay, then we're gonna go ahead and move on to our F chord, which is the next chord in the song. In our F chord, the lowest string is going to be our E string or our sixth string here. So go ahead and move your thumb to the sixth string, but these three fingers will still be on the top three strings. And we're just gonna pick all these strings at the same time. So C was mute, and then we go to F and pick all four strings. C, F. One more time, that's C, F. Okay, and then the same thing. So for A minor, which is our next chord in our progression, we're going to pick the fifth string, because that's the lowest, followed by our three top strings, and then a mute. A minor, mute, 
And then again with our G chord, which is our last chord in the pattern, we're just going to pick all four strings, which is six, three, two, one. Okay, so that last part we've got A minor, G. So now if you stick the whole thing together, we've got our picking pattern. C, F, A minor, G. You know just what to say. Things that scare me, I should just walk away. But I can't move my feet. The more that I know you, the more I want to. Something inside me's changed. Okay, and then if you are playing the alternate version of the F chord, so you're not doing the bar chord, but you're doing the open chord, um, the picking is gonna be a little bit different. Instead of picking sixth string and then the top three strings, what you're gonna wanna do is play all four of the middle strings. Okay, so we've got five, four, three, and two. And your thumb's gonna be on the fifth, and then these three will be just up one string. So F is like this. And then one more extra thing you can add into your picking pattern if you want to is towards the ends of the verses, she does change it up a little bit with the picking. On our C chord, instead of picking 5, 3, 2, 1, whenever she says yesterday, try picking 6, 3, 2, 1 and see how that changes the sound and it makes it a little bit different. So let me go ahead and show you an example. The more that I know you, the more I want to. Something inside me changed I was so much younger and then here on yesterday instead of picking our regular C we're going to change it up and take our thumb and put it on the sixth string and remember our hand shape is still in the C chord but now we're gonna be picking six three two one and then the rest of the pattern is still the same you're gonna go from the six three two one C to the F so much younger yesterday And she does that both times for both the verses. So if you want to add that in there, you can. If not, you can just keep on with the C and it'll sound perfectly fine. All right, so once you have those strumming patterns down as well as that picking pattern, if you want to use it, we can go ahead and put all those elements together and play through the whole song. Like always, I'll list all the lyrics and chord changes in front of you, as well as put the strumming pattern or picking pattern that I'm using at the top if you want to follow my cover. But without further ado, let's go ahead and play through Starving by Haley Steinfeld. Good luck! Changed. I was so much younger 
right, thank you guys so much for watching my tutorial. I really hope that this was able to help you even if it was just a little bit. Make sure that if you are still in the mood to play some more guitar, you check out some of my playlists. My TMT tutorials are just um, technique videos, tips and tricks on how to get better at different skills on the guitar. My basic tutorials are really simple songs that just have a few chords and no picking pattern and things like that. And then my detailed tutorials are songs that are a little bit harder and they go into more detail. So go ahead and click on one of those playlists if you are still interested in playing some more guitar with me, as well as follow me on any of my social media sites where you can get in touch with me and I read all of my comments and I get my requests from there and I also do a lot of polls as to which songs you want to see next and just fun little things like that so make sure to follow me on any of those if you would like to and I will see you guys in my next video so thanks again for watching and I can't wait to see you guys next time bye